appreciate Say that again. I said to appreciate him, it takes ten percent. I think he, he actually takes hundred percent though because he owns <laughs> his wife, right? So technically he has hundred percent of it. You know. <laughs> Uh, All right. Sounds like a, a good man. I'm happy for you guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very good. It's not all men, you know, that supports a lady's dream. Some some see it as a challenge or as a competition. You know. But you are you are blessed. You are blessed. But Thank okay. you. <laughs> Thank you, sir. All right, are you ready for this? Yes, sir. Okay. There are a few questions I need to ask you that requires a yes or a no before we, All right, sir. Before we move forward. And these questions are not part of the nitty gritty questions we had on the show. It's just a question. It's a fundamental question to understand what we are doing and so that we can both be uh, be publicly uh, covered, you know, so that assumption All right. will not set in. Number number one question quickly, which requires a yes or a no, you know. Okay. I'm not any under duress. Of course, we are not under any duress. So you must. I'm happy that you're a graduate. You can process a question and and respond with a yes or a no. Uh, what my number one question says that all documentation, legal documentation, will be carried out diligently, you know, before any financial commitment is made from any investor. You agree with that? Okay. What, what that means is that there is no, we are not going to bamboozle me, or nobody's going to bamboozle us to get <laughs> an investor. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> an investor. Uh, by all means, you know, so that's one. And uh, the second one is uh, the episode. This episode will be uh, broadcast on all our platform on social media and also be forwarded to individual uh, investors so that they can watch it and make a decision about putting their money on, on your business. So I also need you to yeah. verify yes or you know if you're comfortable to share it on all social media platform and privately to uh, people home and abroad for possibly investment yes or you know yes i am yes i am okay then again the investor the third one is the investor will if we finally or eventually get an investor the investor the investor would invest in your business and get 25 percent equity in your business for a period of five years depending on what the investor uh, agrees to do if this is comfortable for you please you can go ahead and yes or a no yes it is okay then then the last one is uh i have been bad i i am the convener of the job show i'm not promising or obligated to get you an investor the process is very simple we enter okay. we put it out there investor get back to us we reach out to you the investor have a meeting with you you guys have your meeting together you come back to me and we start the process and the process can aid financial commitment yes sir. yes yes thank you so much that's it you're welcome thank you so much and of course it's time for everything under the sun a time to be born a time to go to school a time when you need to it starts your idea. This is a time for the picture yourself for investors. And I have with me this morning, uh, Awen Olaide. Did I get your, your last name right? Awen. Awal. Awan. Awal. Awal. Okay. Yes, exactly. Okay. Please forgive me on that. Awal. Ol it's all <laughs> Awan Olaide, as uh, she's the owner and the founder of Olaide House of Fashion, uh, located in Lagos. This morning, we'll be having a deep conversation on how uh, uh, Awan Olaide started and the investment opportunity for all investors out there to put in their money where their mouth is. Believe me, I've been able to speak with her for 
few days and i can guarantee that i think he's ready she has a content that a business that will interest all investors out there to partner with without without much ado let's quickly get to meet our guest our guest this morning a uh, good morning there and of course good morning here as well a lady as of fashion how are you good morning good morning everyone all right so tell us quickly are you ready this morning for this yes i am ready <laughs> let's let's get to to meet you your let's go straight to your business model uh, i'm sure you understand what a business model is you've been doing this for a couple of years if i'm not mistaken but you need to put us through and tell us how far you've gone can you describe the business model of all ideas of fashion and how it all started and it generates revenue did you get that question not at all please come again okay my question is we're getting into your business model and my question says can you describe can you describe the business model of all ladies as of fashion and how it started and how it generates revenue okay i am our all ladies the creative director of Nairbest House of Fashion. I am delighted here to share my journey with you uh, as in the fashion industry. With nine years of experience, I've been able to develop a niche and a deep fashion of modest wears in the fashion industries. Um, I produce timeless designs, sophisticated designs, luxury, and um, statements making designs. This has helped me to really uh, pr uh, produce high amounts of, uh, of, of, of outfits home and abroad over the nine years. So with, uh, with time, I was able to, to develop this great passion for modest wears helping me to solve the problems of women out there that do not compromise their modesty. As it is said that uh, you, are, you are addressed the way you are addressed. You are addressed, let me come again, you are addressed the way you are dressed. Before, even before your qualification, the first thing you, you, you speak about is the way you are dressed. So with that, I was uh, in 2019. I started the fashion brand Mirabes House of Fashion, catering for women all over Nigeria <clears throat> that that seek for modest wears without compromising on luxury and quality materials, quality fabrics. With that, again, I've been able to to train five students that are doing successfully fine in their various fashion fields. I've been able to design quite a number of brides. I've been able to, and again, to support my career, I took part in this, um, this professional course that was organized by Federal Government of Nigeria. I took the course, uh, it is called Transforming Nigerian Youth, DNT. I took the course business management. So for the past two years, I was the 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 turnout for my business has been really great. That professional course helped me a lot in terms of uh, productivity. So Mirabas House of Fashion started 2019. I started with a machine that the worth was forty thousand naira then. And I started with making about four outfits. This is how it goes. Yearly, I release about five collections, especially the festive periods, where I know that when I know that the turnout will be very high. These periods are the Easter periods, the Ramadan periods, the the big salah, which we all know as Ilea here in Nigeria, and then the highest of all the collections, which is the December sales. There we have both Muslims and Christians, 
getting their product, get, getting their outfits looking nice because they have a lot of occasions to go by that time. So I have been able to develop this great amount of uh, experience to push my brand and to make it to add to it. I, I, I am <laughs> someone that deals with only luxury and quality. If it is not, then it's not my brand. Thank you for having me. All right, that's that's a very deep one. I I think I like that. It, you know, I like the part when you said, "If it's not luxury, then it's not you." <laughs> that that means you really have a, a niche for you. Actually, have a niche for yourself. I thank you for that. If yes. you ask, I don't know if my my sense of reasoning I'm losing it. You said you started nine years ago, and you said you started. You also said you started in 2019 with a machine. Can you? No, this is it. The, the experience has been there since 20, 2015, almost 10 years now. I I went to a fashion school. And you know, when you are just learning, you don't, you have not started making profits. You are just learning. Then from there, I went to the university to acquire my BSc. So uh, by doing that, I was going back and forth and there was no Mirabelle's House of Fashion then. I'm talking about sitting down and uh, establishing a brand now and focusing squarely on it. So do you one, understand me? I think I do. Now that one started in 2019. Yes. Okay. Is this your business? Is it registered? Mirabelle? Yes, it is. Okay, good job. Okay, my second question is uh, the market needs does Mirabelle as a fashion address and how large is the potential market? I understand that you did you this you spoke about a niche, you talked about solving women's problem. You also talked about a deep fashion establishment. That's that's your niche. My question is how large? What's what are the potentials of your business? You know, tell us about the potential of your business in terms of and numbers if we are going to take it back from 2019 and you did talk about your your husband as the man that manages your it database section do you have an idea of of numbers of how many clients you've been able to service since 2019 to date mm -hmm. remember i said i took part in business management uh professional course two years ago so being a a, a, a microbiologist because I studied microbiology in Obafemi Awolowo University. I I didn't start with all of that. I started the business started with all of this uh, IT database and all of uh, and this uh, twenty two years ago when I took part in the course. That was um, two thousand and twenty two. But from twenty nineteen to date. Ah, I've been able to produce numerous amounts of outfits, delivering everything across Nigeria and even abroad. All right, so and I started with forty thousand naira, buying a, a securing a machine, and then getting about four outfits. Then because I was a fresh graduate, I haven't really acquired the capital to start the business then but because of the passion i started with that amount now presently the business is uh worthy of two about two million naira that's the worth of your business now yes yes okay so you don't have an idea of the client base that you've been able to service from 2019 do you have an idea a rough idea you did mention uh locally and abroad that you actually worked for can you give us an estimate of of how many clients that you actually an estimate of the clients should be around 500 to 1000 if i'm not mistaken <laughs> if i and you know a client might get an outfit for herself in in two pieces or even in three or even getting for the the, the kids 
I don't know if you if you get what I'm saying. Of course, I'm a family man, I do. <laughs> so uh, I I guess I'll, I'll, I've been able to record no 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 not record but a rough estimate of about five to one thousand clients. Five hundred to a thousand clients. Okay. For the past four years. Home and abroad. Home and abroad. All right. Thank you for sharing that. Okay, we, for example, I have met and I've seen a lot of fashion houses, you know, people claim to, to be the best in their game. You know, as a matter of fact, there is a, there is a shift, there is a pyramid shift, you know, what we call fashion during my days and what people call fashion in this generation. You know, I've seen people online where people will put on Ghana must go. You know, <laughs> Ghana must go. And put yes, on. yes, yes. That 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 is the aspect of craftsmanship. You know, people will call it fashion, and I'm beginning to wonder that uh, how will I put on Ghana must go and, and put on. <laughs> That's I'm, creativity. You know, I'm frequent comfortable. You know, so that brings me to my question: that uh, what? What's the uniqueness of Mirabel House of Fashion? Why are you different from every other fashion houses in, in Lagos, in Nigeria, and of course in, in Africa as, as a continent? What's different about you? Okay. I like that question because <laughs> with nine years of experience over the years, I, I sat down and tried to uh, make myself different in the contemporary fashion world because fashion is very competitive. It's, it's, uh, I think it's, it's the number one uh, revenue uh, gener when you want to generate, in terms of generating revenue in the, in the world now, when you go into fashion industry, you'll be fine if you, if you know your ways. So I tried to to, to check out for modesty. I don't sew clothes that reveals your cleavage, that that doesn't make you get addressed uh, in a, a responsible way. I don't mean, I, I, I am not being religious biased now, no. But as it is said that it, charity begins at home, you, you get to, you get to dress the way you want to be addressed. Yes, in any organization you find yourself, if you are putting on my outfit, you are a modest person. And of course, there's no any organization that will want to employ somebody that has immoral backgrounds and all of that. All right, I, I, I with my years of experience, I think being responsible is relative, you know. I might look irresponsible to some to some folks based on my based on my <laughs> that's fashion too. <laughs> am I am I look irresponsible, you know, based on I'm putting on a jacket, you know? Am I look responsible based on keeping BS, you know? Uh, why some people will, you know, will align with me that it's fashion, I'm still responsible. Some will argue that uh, my being responsible is from the inside, not from the outside. So I want to go back to your response again by saying that, uh, can you define what you call fashion irresponsible? You know, I understand that you said you don't, make dresses that really reveal what did you call it reveal cleavage reveal your cleavage okay cleavage okay and i i guess i understand what that means so is that what you call responsible or yes yeah, so what i mean is i produce um outfits that when you wear them even mel your your first sighting with it will it will start a conversation where did you where did you get this fab this uh, outfit from? I love this attire. Can I get it too? Making it 
suitable for women of all um, of uh, uh, this age bracket between the ages of but if I'm all ages, because now I, I look forward to producing outfits for, for kids too. Kids wear Mirabel kids. So even old women that are of the age of 60 to 80 can fit in into my wears. Now we have fashion brands now that they produce uh the, the, the their niche is about suits. Some are of uh, underwears, but no, I run into the fashion world that is what that has to do with modesty, creativity, luxury. In fact, that's my watchword: modesty, luxury, and creativity. Modesty, luxury and creativity yes thank you i i must confess i'm i'm like i'm liking this conversation you know <laughs> thank you taking me back to 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 what my mom used to call standard <laughs> fashion standard you know <laughs> I, I guess this generation is I'm confused because the generation is losing. <laughs> yes, it's, you know, we can't really define what fashion is all about anymore. You know, but with the people like like you, I think you you should be able to bring us back to to how we all started. I, I like that part. I like the niche you created for yourself and I feel that I'm beginning to see if I can go get money. So out. that's the uniqueness that's the uniqueness of my brand. Yes. You know, uh, being modesty. I think I'll take the word modesty. You know. Uh, okay. Uh, modesty. And I also agree with you that you need to to dress the way you want to be addressed. And yes. Uh, you know what my mother used to tell me then? My mother used to say that and it has helped me a lot. He said dress maybe you want to put that as as a story. Okay. But that's slogan <laughs> you have to buy it, you know. Yeah, you know, <laughs> says that dressing is a magic. You know, wow, magic. I love that. Yeah, dressing is magic. You know, so you can you can pick up a man from the gutter, you know, take him in, dress him up, and take him out. Yeah, so you pick yes. him from the gutter. So I really like that. Let's go to numbers. Let's go to customer base. We we do understand that uh, there are seven P's in marketing you know uh, some we arguably say there are four p's you know we know of prices we know of places we know of people we know of products you know we know of promotion you know seven piece the other two i can't i can't figure it out now you know, those seven p's i did mention people price promotion and i'm going to people those are fundamentals of marketing you know, so let's go okay. to the people. In other words, customer base. Who are your customer target and what strategies have you used to reach and engage them? I do understand that you said you have reached out to over five to 1,000 client base. Uh, that means you must have a strategy that you use to, to catch these people within the space of four years. So let me ask you, how did you reach out to your acclaimed five hundred to one thousand customer client and uh, if i may ask what are the strategies and who exactly are your target market you actually said in the beginning that epping solving women's fashion problem so i don't want to preempt you or assume that you only deal with women's uh, clothing or well, let me hear from you clearly mm, so now my target audience are women women but I plan to expand as time goes on. So I, I, my target audience, I sell to people or you, you as a man too might as well want to get a, an outfit for your, for probably your, your, your fiance or your wife or your, your, um, a, 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 a sibling of yours. So I don't only target, I don't only target females both male and female 
but of course i design only female outfits for now so i the strategies have been um, partaking in that business management helped me with uh, a, a, a whole lot of strategies to deal with them by uh, by creating this uh, irresistible offer to them making my brand stand out so in about five or or seven brands that you have at hand you watching out for oh which of them should i go for the all this Res, uh, irresistible offer makes them attract, get attracted to my own brand. Number one is making sure I deliver quality, top-notch outfits. Number two is trying to make something free to them. It's not actually free. I have, in a way, hidden the amount in the price. Let's take, for example, I have a whole lot of them, but let's take, for example, uh, uh, telling them free deliveries. If I have an outfit that is worth, that is worth of uh, 15,000 Naira, and the delivery, the amount of uh, the, 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 the delivery fee is about a, a 2,000 Naira, I'll make it uh, in a way known to them that this fab, this outwear, this outfit rather, is seventeen thousand naira. And then I try to accumulate instead of them to get their product delivered to them immediately. I try to make uh, co uh, take as much as I can, as much order as I can, to reduce the delivery fee. So I I deliver them at once. Do you do you understand that strategy now? Okay, so that's one from from the same to the same clients or different clients. Different clients, different locations. They pick up. Let's say in in Lagos now, the area uh, in, in 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 where I stay, this area I, I reside, I can deliver. I can choose a day. Let's say Monday. Let's say I want to use a whole week to to deliver products to their to. Uh, It's kind. It's kind of. It, it takes a bit, a longer time than the normal time when I am not uh, trying to get this uh, amount of money. Let's say I, I have a target in a particular month, so I try to deliver this these orders at, at in at once, picking the same location. I have a dispatcher I used back then but now i use uh either gig dhl or or any of this uh, logistics around around my area so i sorry i was using a bike man then but now i use a dispatcher so i i tend to take park oh this is for ikorodu oh this is for egbeda this is for ikeja this is for island and then deliver them at once instead of taking them one by one to reduce the delivery fee. That's a good one. So that's you want to take us to the th third one. Okay, you said uh, who are my target audience? The strategy and yeah, you, the you, last one again. Yes, you were mentioning the strategy. You talked about quality and not top notch outfit. You talked about yes, yes, the delivery strategy. You are talking about. Mm -hmm more strategies is that all yes the uh, the another thing i do is that i make sure i i deliver Bef when i when i tell you when when you make an order today and i tell you that you you get the you get this order in the next five days five working days i make sure i deliver a day few hours let's say a day at least a day before that time so you come back to me and be like wow, wow thank you i was even expecting it the next day that's on that premise right yes sir okay so that's those are the strategies can you tell us the 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 the, the target you said that earlier 
that my target audience are the, are the the women in the world seeking modest luxury outfits and of course they don't compromise on luxury uh, on creativity too yeah. they want to look nice they want to appear lovely yeah. why i'm asking that you did talk about children you know because you made an emphasis on that that was a long time goal a long time don't, goal for don't, now don't do children for now for now i do it based on customers order if you order for it i'll make it but me uh producing it and telling you to come and shop from me for now i don't do that okay do you have any dress to show us i can see one behind you okay <laughs> should that, i get off yeah, you, you should i take that uh, yeah it's that's that's your power you can come out take any dress and show us So what's this called? I don't know if you can see this very well. Yeah, I can see it. It has some diamond on it, right? Yes, yes. What is this called? An Ankara fabric. Yeah, what, what style is this? A simple A-line gown. A-line gown. A-line gown. A-line gown. Okay. Yes. So can you tell us how much tell us about the fabrics tell us about the design tell us about how much does this cost for a client to make for now i for now i either take fabrics from you or get your fabrics and then charge you with whatever i have i have spent on it and then adding my own profit to it for now but as time goes on, especially when I have been able to expand my business very well, you can I will no longer accept fabrics. You only shop for my brand where I can have a, a big gallery room. You view different kind of uh, designs and then you pick your whichever, whichever you want and make an outright payment. Okay, so Do people, you understand? People can bring their fabric. Yes. Okay, kind then. of deposit deposit an amount and then they, they balance up when they come to, to, to get their, their yes okay their do outfit me, do me a favor can you okay dress back the the okay okay, okay, okay. what do you call that a mannequin yeah dress back the, the mannequin so as you are putting it on what What's the cost of that dress that you are putting back to the mannequin? Thank you. Thank you, Mirabe. What's the cost? What's the cost of that dress? It's about 35,000 Naira. Okay, so tell us about the, the textile, the 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 fabric the the, the fabric is it, it could be in form of ankara or adire that's the trending style now so at uh, the ankara the cost of making the ankara do you want me to talk about the cost and the the the, the revenue and the income now no, we're not, and the profit right? no we're not there yet okay okay i just want to know okay that cost that's design that's fabric that design i call it a deshawa design in my collection okay. like i said earlier i released five about five collections in a year so who is that one of who is what a <laughs> the inspiration comes when i'm cutting when i'm designing it depends i have to i have to give you my name too so that you can <laughs> sometimes i i name i name a dress after my daughter my, my myself my siblings and all of that it depends probably you were the one helping me with it when i was cutting and even i use my my same stress <laughs> oh 
all right that's that's a very lovely one i like that let's go straight to the numbers and i need you to work with me on this numbers don't lie you know and this is the most interesting part of this show you know yeah. please try and get your numbers very right and try much as possible to break it down to us very well so that people out there can can begin to uh, generate an interest in, in investment uh, let's go to your financial performance can you give okay. us a general overview uh, an overview of a financial performance to date your sales figure profit margin and your growth metrics from 2029 from 2019 2019 to date 2019 to date okay including sales so, figure profit margin and your growth metrics all right thank you remember i said i started with four fabrics four different types of fabrics so after making an amount of after putting in an amount of about twenty thousand naira taking each fabric to be to be about four thousand five hundred i'm talking about the amount i got fabrics now yes yeah then i, I can remember i told one of my friends to help me get them from the northern part of nigeria I worked on guinea, guinea material then, guinea and some other uh, silk and crepe material. I, I made it in a different way that if you are not going with this, you are going with this. You will like this. Okay, so I make it, uh, each of them 4,500 naira then. So adding my profit to it, I, I, I can sell one from four, five. I add it, making it, multiplying it by three. That is how I do. I multiply by three. So multiplying this 4,500 by three, I should be having nothing less than 12,000 Naira. 12,000 or 13,500? Uh, 13,500, okay. I like money, so. <laughs> Thereabouts, you know that, so I was just starting, like I said then. There are some customers, my, my prices are fixed now. When you come into my gallery room, you want to pick any outfit, the, the, the price tag, whatever the amount I call it is what you buy now, presently. But then, as I was even going door to door to go and make myself known and be trusted, of, of which those customers are still buying from me uh, from then, since then till now. So I, I I tend to multiply by three. The first one is the cost price, the cost of buying, buying fabrics and accessories and its accessories like it is here now. I didn't buy just fabric here. I bought accessories, which are the stones that you can view on, 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 on it. So the, the first aspect is going back into buying fabrics and accessories. Then the second one is uh, utility bills, uh, paying my helpers, my my seamstress. Um, what again? I tend to uh, all this my subscription, data subscription, and all of that. Transportation, whatever it is, I am spending aside from my. Then my profits will be the third, the third number that I have multiplied it with. I don't know if you understand me. I perfectly understand you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for for that. All right. So I with that I am able to produce about I started with four, but then I started increasing the amount of production to from four to ten per month. I'm talking of per month now. From four to ten as time goes on but now i am between producing i might not have sold everything in, in that part for that particular month but now i look forward to in fact selling and even going out of out of 
the stock that I have for that month. Because fashion is the way is it, going, it's moving. The way fashion is moving now, everybody wants to get an outfit. Even if you have not eaten today, you must have worn a clothes because you can't go out naked. So I, I look forward to producing a particular collection and getting everything sold out. So now I have increased to, from four to about 25, 25 pieces per month. All right, so those are the production. Can you tell us, take us into the, the figures, the revenue? Okay. So one outfit now, presently, can cost me about 15,000 to 35,000 Naira. Okay. So taking the average of this, I have 25,000 Naira. Okay, and I said I produce 25,000 Naira per month, uh, 25, uh, 25 pieces yes. per month. But of course, I don't get to sell everything for now. I said, let's say I, I am able to sell about 20 of them. So I have 25,000 Naira multiplying by 20,000 per month. No, if you buy a dress for 15,000. Okay. Multiply by three. That's forty-five thousand. No, no, no. I'm talking about the all the revenue for now. I said I produce about fifteen to thirty-five pieces. Yes, every month. Every month. Taking the average of that is twenty-five pieces. Okay. Oh, sorry. I produce about. Sorry, uh, let me take that again. Let me take that again. I, I was talking about price. Yes, that, I, the was, price, I was going to... The price is 15 to 35. Exactly. 15,000 Naira. I can't, I can't go below 15,000 Naira. Any outfit you get from me is not below 15,000. Only if you are bringing the fabric for now. Let's assume that you are the one buying the fabric. Okay, based, okay. Based on the, In that aspect. Yes, based on the metrics you gave us before when you started with 4,500 per fabric. So per at, fabric. This, at this present age, you buy a fabric for 15,000. Am I right? So with your metrics, how much do you buy? I'm, fabric now? I'm talking about selling, not buying. No, I'm talking about, I'm taking it from the buying. From then. No, okay. buying to production to sell. Okay, now I, a yard of of the material I use, the one I mostly consume now is uh, either crepe or silk. How much is that? Then the crepe is about two thousand naira per yard. Okay. And an outfit would use at least four yards, so I have six thousand naira. Six thousand okay. to buy the fabric. To buy the fabric but of course i'll get accessories i can't design a, a, a an outfit now and just leave it like that okay. i unleash its beauty by adding some accessories like stones yeah as, pearl. as the as the mirabel house of fashion right <laughs> so how much okay. was the cost of those accessories uh, accessories are kind of higher in price than fabrics now in the market because most of most of them are, in, are imported materials or like this adire now we make it here in nigeria do you understand yes so they are kind of very expensive i but the, the, i make sure i don't go beyond my budget i always have budgets for every outfit i can't i can't budget uh making an outfit of of 15,000 Naira now and go for an accessory that is about 20,000 Naira. I look for the one of, within that range that, that will balance my profits and make sure the client is happy too. Okay. Do you, you know, understand? You know, you know in in education, I okay. master's in education, you know, there's even between, wow. that's good. 
knowledge and okay. reading. People read a lot. Okay. They lack the knowledge. knowledge. And the essence, the essence of reading is to acquire knowledge. If you acquire the knowledge and earn a certificate, the essence of earning a certificate is not to put the certificate on the wall. Is to either solve a problem, mm -hmm. when you're able to solve a problem with the knowledge you acquired, and you're able to transfer that knowledge to another generation. Yes, that yes. Is through knowledge, process, methodology. So, coming back to you, I want you to give us knowledge, you know. So, calm down. I want to break it very well. We are seeking okay. knowledge. And I'm going, <laughs> yes, I'm going to go back to where you started. According, okay. to, according to you, you started 2019, you buy a dress then for 4,500. Okay. Multiply it by three, that is 13,500. So yes. let's fast forward. 2024. How much do you buy a dress, including the accessories? Can you just give us a figure? The fabric and the accessories without multiplying it yet. How much? Without the, the cost of that's the cost of production. Yes. For now, the least I can produce is about five thousand naira. That's the least I can produce for now. So I get to sell an outfit for fifteen thousand naira, multiplying by three. That's the lowest out amount of outfits you can get from me. I can, I can guarantee you that. Uh, I have higher Mirabel, ones now. Mirabel, I can guarantee you that you will start making money from this episode. I can guarantee you that. <laughs> All right, sir. I can guarantee you that. But you must be able to pass the message. That's what we call non-verbal and verbal communication and it has to be clarity must be achieved in communication clarity okay very clear so the list you produce your production cost is five thousand then the list yes. sell is fifteen thousand it's fifteen thousand yes but then the highest uh for outfits I sell then, the highest cost of production then was 4,500. Okay, okay. Of which the lowest now is 5,000 Naira. Okay, so. Yes. Okay, so what's the highest production cost now? Presently, I have an outfit of about 35,000 Naira. So dividing that by three, I'll get my cost of production to be about eleven thousand naira if i'm not mistaken that's thirty three thousand mm, let's say eleven five eleven thousand five hundred okay so that is that's four thousand five hundred. Okay, so that's that's fine. I want to talk to that size. I like money. <laughs> that means you must, I guess you like more than the job should. Ah no no no. <laughs> that makes that, that really makes sense. So you did talk about quality. Yes. You know, what's the quality of this five thousand? production cost and 11,500 production cost in terms of quality. Okay. Now it's not, it does not have to do with the quality now. When I talk about uh, producing an outfit of 5,000 naira, it has to do with um, the fabric, the type of fabric. Yes, 
type of fabric. There are some fabrics that are of the high side. Even if you are not getting the one that is quality. You know, we have different types of fabrics. But you now going for a particular fabric and getting the quality fabric of that particular fabric, like the mask now. I have it somewhere in my my on my page on Instagram. A, a yard of it is about 10,000 naira, a yard of it. But if you are going for the lesser, the, or let me say the less quality of it, you get it at the rate of 6,000 naira. So it is not as if I am getting, I am not getting the quality of that material for 5,000 naira. But it is because it is the type of the material that it is. When you are wearing it, they know you are wearing, um, let, let me say, ah, this fabric, this is the type of the fabric, which is crepe. I, I mainly use crepe now. That crepe, the highest amount you can get crepe. Even if you are going for the highest quality last year in Nigeria, you get it for 2,500. Hello? I, I'm not free. I, I, are you listening? I'm, I'm <laughs> you listening. get it for, for 2,500. So, and we have crepe, we have silk. I tend to go for the one that is about 2,000 Naira. We have the ones that are about one, one, two, even 900. It's just now that we have increased, incrementing uh, dollars, this uh, the, uh, dollars uh, fluctuation. So there are some that are even about 700, then 900, one, two, and presently we still have about 1,000, 8,000 Naira, uh, 1,200, 1,500. But when you feel the texture, that's why I go for my fabric shopping myself. I feel the texture myself because as I am, I I place high prices on my on my on my my designs. But when you get them delivered to you, you'll be wowed, you'll be impressed. The quality has to be there. Talking so about, I go, I talking about modesty, luxury, and and creativity and creativity so i i i go for the one that is about two thousand naira per yard now but there are some customers that will come to you and say ah no i don't want this but talking about the ones i produce i produce myself using my my capital i go for the one that are 20 uh, two thousand naira per yard That's so I, I i tend to produce a design that i won't be spending nothing more than one yard let's say a short gown then the accessory the zip the thread the trimmings and all of that those ones could cost me about three thousand naira so summing up to what to five thousand naira so let's say i'm even exceeding one yard Let's, let's say the design is about, like I said, creativity, probably a puff hand or so. I want to add uh, an half yard. I know I'm not going to be, I'm not going to, I will not exit two yards. So I can add other accessories to it. Right. Do you understand now? I do. What about the growth metrics from 2019? Do you understand the word growth metrics? Yes. Yes. Can you tell us about your growth metrics from 2019? To date. Like I said, I started with 40,000 era. Getting a, a, a manual machine. Okay. Getting a ma just one manual machine then and outfits that are that were 4,500 era for production, four of them. But presently now, I have a, a, a manual machine, a manual sewing machine an industrial sewing machine or is that not the growth you are talking about go ahead that's it a, a a an industrial presser machine a ma oh, this machine is worth four hundred thousand naira summing up everything together is about two and i have outfits here that are still for sale so it's, a, it's about two million naira how many, machine, how many machines do you have? Presently, I have three. Okay. I have one manual. Okay. 
okay. and two other industrial. And these machines are worth two million naira. No, summing up everything to get everything I have acquired now, the including the outfit I have to for sale, is the one that is about two million naira. Okay, so the business worth as of today, yes, yes, end of June 2024 is two million naira. Yes, taking us back to from 40,000 2019. Yes. That's that's over over a thousand percent. <laughs> Passion is life. So what's the worth of your machine? The four, the three machines you have. Mm, adding up uh, three of them together. I should have about seven hundred and fifty thousand. Okay, so the machine carries over forty percent of your of your financial what business what yes 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 so i must comment i think you've you have actually done well for yourself i must comment on that in 2019 you started with forty thousand, and as at 2024 the business is worth two million naira i think i think that that's a massive uh, uh progress that's a massive and encouraging uh, steps that you've taken so far without external investor coming into your business. I must give kudos to you and, and your husband. Really done well. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes, you've really done well. Kudos to you. Uh, let me let me ask you a very simple question that I need a very deep thoughts and answer. If you have done this for yourself, and the percentage, the rate as 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 at which you are growing is okay. Is is faster than a superman, you know. <laughs> I love Superman. Yes, I, I must say that. Why do you need an investor? Okay, thank you. I for now, I want a global recognition. Quickly. Okay, so quickly, how uh, I can move from about about three to hundred. I have a, a big fashion house where um, probably the down floor will be uh, the gallery, the showroom where everybody, even both online and offline, you can come in, shop as much as you can. Uh, with that, I won't even tend to release five collections per year again. Probably every month I release new, although I try to calm down to get inspired before I can produce a design so that it will, it will stand out among what all others are producing. So I, I want to produce as much as I can and even import, uh, export rather as much as I can. Now I will be a a, a a a wholesaler, not even a retailer again, bulk production. And then I can kind of include luxury bags and shoes because your dressing is not complete without a bag and, and a shoe and jewelry. No matter how beautiful an outfit is, if you are not complementing it with 
a, a, a good shoe and a good bag and a, a, a nice jewelry. The beauty won't be completely unleashed. Do right. you understand? So that, that sounds good. I'm still going to ask you that question again. Maybe I have to rephrase it. Okay. In terms of in response of identification for the purpose of identification why do you need investor can you to, can you to expand my brand in in, in shorts that, that, that response is good but can you bullet it for example and i will help you with that okay i have a restaurant I want an investor because I want to expand my restaurant in terms of getting an additional shop. Okay. For people to come in. The worth of the shop is two million. Okay. It's investor because I am getting I need to buy food, yam rice a bag of rice costs eighty thousand, and i'm buying 10 bags I okay spam because i need to buy assorted meat so i'm buying a goat the cost of a cow is hundred thousand. i am buying four okay specifics so i'm going to ask you again okay what, i have what I... Are the specifics See of you the reason why you are getting an investor okay i have a pre presentation slide for that prepared for that kindly uh, enable me to to share it on the screen please Okay, you are enabled. Post disabled the participant screen sharing. Yes, I just yes. allow participants to share notes. Okay. It's still showing disabled here. But before that, oh, let me, okay. I need to expand my my machines and add more to them. I'm looking of about about four of them so that I can employ more more seamstress to increase productivity from twenty pieces in a month to about taking the average to, to at least 60 in a month four machines that's one a generator that can power everything i've already acquired a a workshop i have a workshop that i use and a gallery corner that i use so i i want to uh, do some interior decor for it to look luxury, like I said, luxurious. I wish I could share that presentation so you can see everything is written. But yeah. probably after the meeting, I can send it as a PDF. Yes, please. Hello, can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay. Okay. So, uh, getting a generator, a generator plant. That's for the. That's for the manufacturing aspects. Then production aspects now. The constraints for me to be able to produce large amounts, this clothes rack now is supposed to be filled up with clothes. In fact, I get some orders that are, please, can you 
uh, produce this, I'll, I'll make payments after you produce, after production. But the capital to source for fabric, like I said, I don't go for uh, less quality fabrics. So I don't want fabrics to be any constraints for me again. So getting more fabrics. In fact, I've not been able to work on the trending fabric now, presently, because of the high amounts of capital I'll be needing, which is, um, I mentioned, I made mention of it the other time, Damask, 10,000 per yard. And, it, and the way they sew it now is as bogus as you, uh, you using about four to five yards for, for a single dress. So that's 50,000 I'm multiplying it by three. I'll be, I'll be selling it at the rate of at least 120 to 150,000 naira. So I want to get such an, such types of fabrics in different different types of them. Again, I'll be needing more funds to pay those apprentices. Not apprentices now. They are skilled professionals because uh, it's expanding now. So I'll be getting people that are professional in the field, the skilled labor, to be able to pay them salaries. At least when I buy machines, I'll employ more people. And I, when I'm employ, I employ more people, I'll, I'll have to pay them. Okay. So that's another uh, aspect I'm getting it for. Then now, uh, packaging material. I want to work more on my packaging. Now, presently, I use um, satin label, which is of lower quality. But now I want to go, I want to look more <laughs> of the eye side. More mirror and, there. You want to look more mirror there, right? <laughs> and get woven label. Okay. Woven, woven label. It's not produced here in Nigeria. I have to import it. Okay. That's from China or where? Yeah, from China. Indicating the, the, the sizes. UK sizes, US sizes, and all of that of the of the of the outfits. Then um, I, I presently now I use nylon for my deliveries. I want to move from nylon to paper bags. I don't know. I don't have the samples here. Well, I, I don't know if you, if yeah. you understand what paper bag is. I do. Then probably gifting them souvenirs. Like I said, irresistible offers. So catch their attention. The fashion world is competitive. So to catch their attention, ah, oh, if I'm getting this one, I still have gifts. Whereas the gift is hidden in the amount of clothes you are buying already. <laughs> so I need, I'll be needing. Then one thing I have ah, that has been being my passion like and i'm trying trying if i can get this investor i'll be very very happy is to boost my social media platform my instagram page and then getting a website so with that i need uh influencer collaboration somebody that has about one million followers on his or her page, or let me say a page now, because I'll be making use of a female, wearing an outfit that is designed by me. So one million viewers can see, in fact, if they could be, they could be more than a million. They could be two million on Instagram page now. I'm talking of Instagram page now. So boosting that would give me a global recognition. I've been pushing to do that, but it's kind of costly. Okay, so these are the... These are the things you need, right? Are uh, the major, major. I can remember if I could share this slide, it would have been better. But I, for now, that are the major things that can, I can. Then, uh, sorry, I need to work on my photography and videography too. When you say, like I, when you say work on, how do you mean? Okay. For now, I use a Samsung phone of which the the camera 
is the camera quality is not as high as an iPhone. Are That's you, one. You sure about that? Uh, it depends on the the type of uh, Samsung we are using. This one now, I got it around uh, one hundred and fifty thousand naira. What brand is that? Uh, uh, Samsung Galaxy A fourteen, I guess. I don't. I've been using it a, like a year ago now. Best. Pizza. Is the best. Okay, if I say in terms of videography and photography, this is me calling professionals to come and help me take videos. And in fact, I've been trying to to do that by getting this. This is a LED light. Okay. I don't know if you can see it very well. Okay. So I that is about forty five thousand naira when I got it. When I got it last year. Presently now, I, I'm sure it's, it should be around around 65 or so. And that's basically to take pictures or videos? And this is not the only one. another one. Uh, ring light. Ring light will not do the same job, right? I have both ring light, ring light and LED light. LED light is, of course, brighter okay. when it comes to lightning than, than uh, ring light. So I moved from ring light to now, presently, I'm using LED light. And again, calling a a, <laughs> a photographer or a videographer to come and do justice to what I have produced. Ah, you'll be wild when you view the the videos on your on your phone. Maybe you are just scroll, scrolling through the uh, Instagram, the street of Instagram. Sorry, and then you just pop into my view and be like, "Wow, this is lovely. This is nice." Then getting props, all this uh, to a, a model. To model for now i use mannequin there are other mannequins that are more attractive than this i plan to get about three of them presently now each of them is cost the last time i priced them 195,000 naira. all right and then getting a website so that I can reach more people All right. and get them trust me. Because on, on Instagram, they tend to like, oh, I don't know you, you are a stranger. Do you want to scam me? <laughs> but when you are shopping on, on a website, I think that's more professional and then the, the clients will be happy and, and be satisfied that, oh, I, I, at least I can do well with this. All right, it make it makes sense. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have. We I'll have... share the, the the slide after this. All right, that's 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 a good one. So, let me ask you this: the worth of all this you have mentioned, how much is it? Hmm. If not for the dollar fluctuation now, okay, it's about seven million naira when I added everything together. Okay. So if you have, if somebody can invest seven million, okay, how much stake can you give out? Ah, that's seven million will do a, a whole lot of thing in my business for now. Yeah, so and um, it's so. And it will increase productivity, and of course, uh, profit too. There will be an increment. Okay, how much equity are you to give us? How much what? Equity. Do, you, do you mean percentage? Exactly. Mm, for now, my husband takes ten percent. I still have about ninety percent, but you know, you don't. In fact, presently now, I pay myself salary. I don't just go into the company, uh, the Mirabes account and just take any amount of money. That's why I've been able to acquire all of this. Even if my husband says I should borrow, I uh, know. I don't joke with the money in that account. He knows about that already. So I still have 90%. Mm. What about 20%? 20% for how long? About five years is fine. I will ask you again. Twenty percent 
for how long? For five years. 20% for how long? For five years. <laughs> All right. How will this money be? Let's imagine that an investor comes in and decide to invest seven million to your business. Okay. At what point will the revenue start coming in? That's that's um I for now. I am I am saving, so my my focus has reduced in terms of activity in my business for now. I'm I'm currently saving, but I'll, I'll complete my service by October, the first week of October by God's grace. So I'm, I'm even looking, I've been planning, even without investor or so, I've been planning that by December, I want to release a collection. Of course, I will have started producing by October. Try to market it and put it out for sale by November. By December, we should be delivering so that you can get your house before Christmas. Do you understand? Or New Year? I do. So by December, when we start making sales, it should start. So by December, by December. an investor should be getting 20% of the business. Of the, yes, yes. Mm. Yes. And um, the gross or the net. Did you get my question? Okay. What well, what is the question again, please? All right. Is the investor getting the gross or the net of the profits? Okay, it's getting the, the yes, the profits of the profits. For example. <laughs> <laughs> of course, the, the 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 investor can get the gross. It's the net that we are both sharing. No, and even my husband, like I said, I don't touch the gross. That's why I, I explained to you that clarity is very important. Yes, I don't touch the gross at all. So there's no into the business. The business can grow and sustain it for sustainability. Okay, so the investor will get 20% of the monthly net, right? Yes, yes, yes. All right. And... How do you solve the issue of accountability and transparency? Okay, between myself and the investor, or for now, Oof. or how I solve it presently? The investor, I am aware that the investor will definitely have access to the part of the account, I'm aware. I'm also aware that those are the conditions of an investor do. The investor will also have access to the database and all transactions will be uh, input in a database so that the investor can have access to how much was spent, how much is coming in, how much is going out. I'm also aware that any investor as of today, we also want to be part of the board of decision making so that his money will definitely know. It's secured, yes. Definitely secured. You know, those those are the conditions that I, I'm talking from the perspective of an investor. However, those are the things you should also put into consideration if an investor is ready to have a meeting with you just to prepare your mind, you know. So my question is, for every business, your, your business sounds very, you know, luxurious as you've said it, M, L, C, modesty, luxury, and creativity, which I, I love. Yeah. What are the risks for an investor? Mm, for an investor, presently now, this dollar fluctuation has been affecting productivity. So even if I buy a fabric of 2,000 naira, I produce it, I make sales from it. When next I'm taking my gross back to the market to get uh, the same fabrics, because I, I like it when I have 
uh, outfit on ground. You don't just come in and I say I'm out of stock. That's why I said my production will start October. I I produce ahead of of the time I want to make sales. You, know, you understand? So this uh, dollar have been affecting the the, the two thousand era worth of fabric then tired. When I go back to the market, it, it might have increased. In fact, in most cases, it, it has increased. So I don't know. I, I've been trying to balance myself. But for now, like I said, my business activity has been put on hold for now. Not like I don't produce. Even this big salad that we just finished, I was still able, but not as much as it is expected because I am currently serving. And it takes um, a, a whole lot of time, of my time. Okay, my last question. If an investor, if you send this the slide to me and I'm able to share with an investor and okay. he or she is interested, the investor might decide to get those items. Okay. And send it and ship it to you rather than giving you the money. Okay. Investors will claim that most times when finance are giving funds are given to entire the entrepreneurs they rather use it to do a small party than... ah. <laughs> would you would you prefer the investor if i'm just saying i'm not saying that's what the investor would do of course because th this these things are the a pile of this provide it and give it to you of course of course that's fine that's not a problem thank you so much any last words to look at the camera and say last word to any investor out there okay <laughs> i'm ibikuli awa olaide the creative director of mirabel south of fashion i look forward to uh getting uh, to expanding my brand as much as i can and I, I promise, I promise, in fact, <laughs> you'll be wild. I promise my, my any investor out there that is interested in my brand that your money is secured. You are making money every second. Yes, because fashion is everything. <laughs> fashion is life. So I, I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you, Job Show. Thank you very much. No Thank you for this opportunity. We want to appreciate you for your time. And to say a very big thank you to the man behind your your business. <laughs> I like the part that you incorporated the husband into your business, and I can tell you, uh, time is one essential commodity that, uh, if it goes, you can't get it back. But with what I'm saying, with the uh, Mirabel House of Fashion, uh, you have the management of time very well, and in few years from now, it's going to be a very household name all over the world. I can guarantee you that. So uh, we'll thank get you this together. Please do not forget to send in the slide. I will discuss have a meeting with a uh, few investors and also be ready that we will have frequent meetings. You know, I can guarantee you that we have to frequent meeting and see where this will take us to.